Hello, train stopper tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles with me, Blue Ankylo. In the last episode, we started work on, uh, whatever the name of this mission is. Um, it hasn't been going that well. We actually lost one due to, uh, an enemy tank getting a crit on our tank, and that's an instant game over. Um, I was thinking about it off camera, just sort of looking around. I, uh... I probably should be using orders more. I've sort of forgotten about them. Well, not forgotten. I just haven't been using them much lately. Um, but other than that, we need to get rid of this medium tank and find out what the heck is going on over here. Um, and I already learned that if I try to ignore it, it just destroys my tank. So for this turn, we're going to start with Largo and... It's going to take him two shots to kill the enemy tank. Um... Theoretically, I could spend uh, a damage boost, but that's two turns worth of, uh, of, a of command points for him. So I think it's better to just not use the damage boost and just move him as close as I can and try to kill it. Just with two shots rather than uh, however many it would take otherwise. Almost got too close maybe for the machine gun counter, but still, I think we're fine. And I mean, if we're lucky, Largo gets his double damage attack, but, you know, we didn't get lucky. You watch, it'll trigger on his, uh, his second attack when it's completely useless. Been waiting here. But I mean, you know, I do admit Lancers are a lot more efficient for killing tanks. It's just, sometimes the mobility is just not high enough. Anyway, it's dealt with. So we've got an enemy Lancer over here. Uh, we will want to deal with this guy. How do we want to deal with that guy? Well, um, I, th I wish I knew for sure what I needed to do to destroy this bridge. If I can destroy it with a grenade, which is maybe what I'll try to do next. I'm going to send Alicia. I don't know if she can make it in one turn, My turn okay? but she's the quickest. And, uh, Enemy unit spotted. She can she can spot for us as well, which is nice. And I'm hoping that the tank the uh, the train is too far away, so she doesn't just get mowed down this time. Medic. All right, save Ika. Sit tight. Help's and just skip it. There. Honestly, it's fine. And keep moving towards the base. Hopefully, the train the train doesn't kill you. Yeah. Um. She hasn't used her action for anything. We could try to shoot someone over there. Oh, it's a tank. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. I mean... No, I'm, I'm, I was thinking about using her um, grenade launcher, but she only has one grenade left. So I want to make oh, yeah. sure that we can use it. Like, make sure that it can hit. I'm, I really don't know. We're about to find out anyway. So, okay, let's take a grenade, orange is good, okay, there's no need for the tank like I kind of thought I might need. The northwest bridge is down, Zaka, it's your turn to get that bomb All right. set. So a scout could have done that I'm on it. It won't take a second. relatively quicker if I just timed it better with the train. Okay, it's set to blow. Thanks, Zaka. Now it just needs a gunshot to detonate. When it goes off, the whole bridge goes too. All right, got it. I wanted to go with a time bomb, but there's no guarantee the armored train would be there. Should have gone with a remote control bomb. I see. This way we can wait until the target is where we want it before detonating it. Cross the central bridge and move up the east bank, and there's a great spot to shoot from. Sounds like trouble. It's all yours now. Good luck getting those fireworks up on time. All right. Well, I'm glad I managed to progress to the what next was phase. Explosion? Sir, the Gallian forces appear to have bombed the northwestern route. What? Clever, but not enough. Restore power to the work lifts. I want scouts out there reporting battle status. Oh, does this mean now my base is... They can resist all they like. This rail car is impenetrable. I'll enjoy their demise. Um, I have a feeling we're about to lose the mission thanks to our base being undefended, but we'll see. Also, if I don't spend another action on Alicia, I bet you the train 
we'll just come down and kill her. What's going on? Okay, that's the one that leads to their other base. Okay, that's fine. I was wondering how we'd ever turn that on. If these two had turned on, I was expecting them to just waltz up and take our base. Yeah, our sniper and our, uh, our shock trooper are just too far away here. This is crazy. Um, how do we get across this bridge with our tank? Can I... Entering combat. Like, is there any way to, to sneak past? No. So what I would have to do... Don't give up now. I can't even turn the way I want to turn. Um, I would have to mortar slash grenade our way across. I need to move back a little bit more. Alright, I... Sheesh, I'm hoping this destroys more than one barricade. Alright, the mortars are definitely a lot better for destroying barricades than uh, the grenades were. That's uh, that's for sure. Alright, so it's going to take us four action points just to get rid of all the barricades. It could be a lot worse. But that doesn't give us any way to kill the Lancer over there. Um, plus there's still mines in the way. I think I'm going to use Nadine to try to kill the Lancer. We'll get rid of the mines on our way. And then I can move her close enough to grenade the Lancer, hopefully on this turn, and then shoot him. Now, that doesn't mean anybody else is very well protected over here. But uh, I don't really have a lot of options right now. At least the Lancer's dead. And from this close of range, you can almost guarantee he would have been able to... Uh... I can actually probably move her to cover, but... Um, he probably would have been able to kill Largo in one rocket or something ridiculous, so... No matter the cost. We have to try to deal with him if we can. I'm hoping... Uh-oh. What the heck? Oh, I got... <laughs> the train can shoot to here as well, of course. Anyway, if I get 5 out of 5, he's dead. Actually, less, because he got a defense deep downgrade. Once the first shot hit, he would have taken less. Alright, well, I managed to get her into cover, at least. Um, <laughs> the shock trooper, that's not good at all. Alright, well, I think the best option is still to start moving the tank across. Um, I have to get rid of the barricades. So he can't shoot anybody. But maybe I can get him close enough that he can cover with machine gun? I don't know. I kind of doubt it. What? What do they want us to do against that? We'll see what happens. I'm still not very happy with how this mission is going, but, uh... You know, we're making progress. So what is the enemy going to do? Come around the corner and kill Nadine? Gregor commands you. Oh. You are the shield that defends the Empire. Orders are good. <laughs> and bad when the enemy uses them. Oh good, there's another one there. You're so dead. He had a flamethrower. <laughs> well, that's the first time we got to see the flamethrower. At least it didn't one-shot her. That's something. Okay, there was a lot of enemies over there that I didn't know about. Even better, <laughs> she survived by uh, <laughs> the, using the bodyguard of the enemy. <laughs> well, this has actually gone a lot better than you could have predicted. Is he going to try again? Oh, no! Nadine! I'm so sorry. So. That's brutal. I do not have a lot of people to support her right now, either. So, do I need to destroy that bridge in the bottom right as well, or what? Probably. Scout elites. Yeah, the enemy getting all these scout elites is pretty brutal as well. At least he didn't shoot Largo. Cast okay, the mortar. This shouldn't matter. I don't think I left anyone there. Uh, 
let's see. I kind of wish I hadn't moved Rosie and uh, whatever our sniper's name is over, because now that I'll be able to get across this bridge, I'll be able to activate the lifts, and they have a shortcut, but um, they're already kind of out of position. So, I mean, basically all that we've got is the tank. Uh, this is not good. And I, I'm actually really worried about Alicia because she's probably in range of the enemy tank. So unless I give a defense order, I don't think I can get her across safely. Here we go. Probably have to spend a defense order on her, basically. Also, I'm just gonna run down this guy's. Uh, this guy's. Uh... Oh, good! I didn't even know if this would work. This was Please this was a test on. as well. So, the uh, Idlevice can call medics as well. Right. Cool. Stay strong. But yeah, that, that was good. And that's also what I wanted. Okay. So. Scouts are annoying, but trooper elites are worse. That's actually not... I used the wrong gun. but <laughs> It was super effective anyway. Man down. Everybody be <laughs> that wasn't the one I meant to use. Okay, so... I think I want to keep using the idle vice because there's another shock trooper up there. Entering combat. This time I'll actually use the machine gun if I remember. Enemy sighted. And I was hoping kind of got weirdly glitched there. I'm hoping that I'm close enough to the scouts that uh, they they don't really threaten us. Fire! Yeah, there. That's the one that needed to die. Let's move a little bit closer here. And I did find the other scout as well. Good. Alright, if they try any funny business, the tank will destroy them. I would like Largo to activate one of these lifts if he can. Because there's like no one else. There's no one else with any uh, mobility left that's cheap. Alright, if this is activated, then theoretically I can reinforce from my base now. Um, Permission to advance granted. Well, he'll be safe here for now. Uh, I do want to save Alicia, and I, th I honestly think the only way I can save her is using the defense. And even then, I'm not 100% sure, but we'll try. This is an order! Brace up and get ready to defend yourself. And I don't think there's any need to go with the uh, defend all. Moving out. So let's just move quick here. Go, go, go. Alright, I think... Yeah. Now, it's nice that she didn't take very much damage, but I do honestly think that if I hadn't used the defense boost, she would have died. So, I stand by my decision there. Now, can she... She could hit him, but... I think she got two crits. Could be a lot worse. Do I spend... Who do I spend the rest of my points on? Alicia again, or... Try to put people... Oh, man. Well, I might as well spend one on Rosie. I... Jeez. I've spent so much time moving people left and right here. Now that I can go over this, I'm like, I don't even know. Let's just keep moving Alicia. Moving out! Finish off this one scout would still be worth it. Pretty very likely. And to be honest, she might as well kill the other one. I think the one that's in between the buildings is an officer. So finishing him off is really for the best anyway. Moving out. And maybe she can take the trolley. I don't even know why, but... Yeah, getting rid of this guy is good for us. I think that's better than moving the uh, the people at our main base over, honestly. Okay, and then... Yeah. Let's see where this takes us. Enemy units spotted. Oh, good. That's, uh... It's a special, special unit. Alright, activate this. 
This means if she dies, I can actually send someone to rescue her. <laughs> That's a smart option, right? First choice. So now we can use this, and if she can kill... Oh, he's a sniper. Oh yeah, he's dead. Well, she can't move very far. He might be dead. She might be dead instead, though. How good is her aim from here? Not very good. I expect results. Needed a little bit more mobility. It's possible! Yeah. Yes! Alicia! Tavas! Tavis! Tavas! I don't know. The beast is dead. Excellent! And maybe she can destroy the bridge with her grenade launcher anyway next turn. I think that went pretty well. Lifts are all activated. The tank is in a good spot. I think the tank's in a good spot. Okay, there are enemies over there. I assume those are reinforcements that are just going to come every turn. That's why I need to destroy the bridge in the southeast, probably. But the tank is in a pretty good position for this. <laughs> I have to say. No one's in range of the mortar. There's no possible. It's impossible. Alright, now it's moving over to the death side. Now this is the side we want to be on. So other than the tank, it's really not a good idea to move anyone up that uh, lift on the right side, I don't think. Because that's probably within range. Well, that's not going to do anything. Alright, first off, Alicia, try to destroy that bridge, I think. I think that's why you, we sent you okay. over this way. Uh, I assume we'll have to use the grenade launcher. Yeah, it should be possible. I don't know if she can miss it or not, but... Please don't miss, basically. That looks good. Okay, I like it. And then we send her back. And... I'm a little bit worried about that shock trooper. But I think we can run around quick. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, yeah, so the, the train can definitely see you here. Let's pull her into this section. Okay, that'll be safer there. Now, the tank is going to deal with the shock trooper and then probably move up the lift because he ain't afraid of no train. Okay. Now, now that the bridge is gone, I hope that there's no more uh, reinforcements coming across that way. I would like to have an engineer. Maybe I should deploy an engineer for the tank as well. You know, instead of sending the tank up right now, I know there's another tank up there, like an enemy tank. I've seen a medium tank up there. I want our tank to have some support. So we're going to have to redeploy an engineer and send her over, basically. Nadine, I think you're still the best choice. Other than that, uh... I mean, it would be nice to have Rosie, right? I got a lot of command points, and I don't really want to risk anybody else right now, so... The enemy could be hiding. We'll move on one more time. I think I'm just going to save the rest of the command points for next turn. But this gives her... Oh, man. Alright, you're fine. You're fine, Rosie. You're fine. Uh, this gives us one of each class, basically, uh, for next turn. That uh, enemy train, that machine gun fire on that is crazy. So next turn... Underminer fire. Man, so it's got a machine gun and a cannon. That's why the Eidelweiss takes so much. Um, next turn, we need to get up the ramp and also into some cover. Oh, no. There's another one? Rosie, kill him! Kill him, Rosie! You, you did not kill him at all. No. Sorry. Oh, the enemy is... 
how do they get such good crits, man? When I try to shoot an enemy tank, I can't hit the radiator for nothing. Anyway, I'm gonna off camera most of that again. I am sorry, but that is... I tried to position the tank so that the... The train wouldn't hit the radiator. Instead, another Lancer came out of nowhere. Ah! It's disturbing. Anyway, I'll be back in a bit. This is making me a little bit upset, though. Okay, welcome back. And uh, I think we're at about the same place I was last time I died horribly. I, uh... The only difference... Well, I mean, there's a variety of small differences. I played it basically the same as last time. Can't beat the smell of fresh uh, One of the main differences, Alicia... Um tried to blow that bridge up last time and actually missed on the grenade even though it was centered like you know I'm, I'm aiming at the center of the bridge yeah. grenade launchers seem to have a bit of a random uh you know they, they spread a little bit more than a, a thrown grenade so at least we got it on the second one and uh that should don't cut off the reinforcements now i really don't know if there's any more lancers hiding over i suppose can't beat we could try to find out. Enemy unit spotted. Yeah, okay, that's that's Trooper Elite. That's good. Please advance with caution. I couldn't really tell if there was anything back there. We killed a couple in between turns. Um, I think we killed a, a Lancer and a Scout. So, if I remember correctly, the train is currently on the left side, which means this is the right time. I mean, the difference... I don't know if we're on exactly the same sync. I think it, I was a little bit slower this time around. Combat. But, um... I really want to get up this uh, ramp with the tank. See, see if we can do this. Right. I didn't even have to drive that far. I should have clicked right earlier. Alright. You can see the trooper... What we're really aiming for... Oh, there's mines. Well... Hostile sighted. Damage minimal. <sighs> Gotta love nature. Should have sent an engineer up first, in retrospect. Alright, they got a Lancer Elite and a Lancer Elite. They uh, were prepared for us, is what I mean to say. Fire! Destroyed all their cover. And actually did some damage to the enemy tanks. Treads. Okay, so sending the tank up here, less effective than I would have liked. Um, honestly, Alicia's okay. probably one of the best ones to go deal with the Lancers. Lots of mobility, plus pretty good long-range accuracy compared to, like, the Shock Troopers. So, can you kill this guy from here? Maybe. Armored train sighted ahead. Watch out for cannon fire. Maybe what we do is just put you into cover. I think this guy should die. That's good. And then hopefully she can kill the other one as well. She is out of range of the tank's machine gun fire, which is good. Yeah, I think this is a a, a, a decent second shot with her. Pull it together. Thanks to Maternal, she should have a little bit more accuracy than normal. No, we did not get the kill there. That's too bad. I don't really want to move her any closer. How many action points we got? We got lots. Might as well just keep shooting at this guy. We got to kill him on this round, right? Don't even think of Especially with that. That helps. Alright, good work, Alicia. Now... Enemy tank is a threat. We've got Largo basically ready to go. So he's up Just next, basically. This. I also need to get him into cover. I, You know, the, the, the train will move back to the right next turn. So we need people in proper cover. Um, sneak right through here. Alright. It's a pretty good spot. Four shots to kill, unfortunately. You're done. I was hoping. I'm really. I mean, I'm glad. I'm glad Alicia's helping out, but I don't know if I can kill this thing. Um. So he would need three more turns. Actually, no, we can do it. Two more shots with Largo. Bring in the engineer, and then one more shot with Largo. That will destroy the uh, the tank at least, which is. You're done. I mean, it should destroy the Let's tank. Do this. 
But that is the biggest threat. Well, there's also, um, I need a command point. Uh, we know the shock trooper down here is going to come up. But... The it's tank right is, is definitely a bigger problem. Come on, give me your double damage, Largo. Why are you not getting double damage? Let's do this. That's not good. So... It's actually going to take an extra... It's going to take even more command points. Oh, thanks to hitting the treads instead of the body. I think I'll also do a repair on the tank. Well... What are my options here? There's really not much else that Ramsey could do that would be useful. I could heal somebody or I can restore the treads, basically. Thank you. And then get you into cover. Good. But I really do need to kill this tank or else it can just mortar all these people in one turn. In one action. Come on, Largo. Give me your double damage. Dang it! Well, you can't, uh... Can't stop random aim, basically. Just watch this. Would have been nice to be able to like capture this enemy base, but we had to destroy the tank before I was willing to move anyone up that close. Um, I think we're just gonna have to take that base next turn, basically. And I think the last thing we should do is try to put Rosie somewhere safe. Um. Actually, no. We go kill this guy. There may be a Lancer back there behind the uh, behind the Shock Trooper. I think it's more important to put someone over here to protect our tra our tank. Rosie's fine, anyway. Alright, so if there is a Lancer back there that tries to sneak up and kill our tank like last time, we should be fine. Yeah, I'll leave her facing that direction. Alright, well, I did what I could, guys. The enemy is not using their command points anymore. In fact, if they're using the mortar right off, they're not taking any actions, which is fine. Maybe I have killed all the uh, the threats. Not like I'm going to complain. <laughs> so now the right side is very dangerous. Um, I don't know for sure, but I expect that that uh, tank can, or sorry, the train can hit anybody up there. So I think we need to just basically focus on using our tank to clear. Well, we'll find out with our tank, basically. Uh, gotta love nature. Don't want to destroy our uh, cover if I can help it. Good, sneaky, sneaky. Still no mines. Actually, looks like we might be safe from the enemy train here. I don't want to get too close, actually. Hold on. I thought about trying to mow down their cover. Trooper Elite and a Scout Elite. We may be able to kill them. Yeah. Mortars are good. I was thinking about, like, running over the sandbags with, with the treads, but, uh... Oh, we didn't quite kill the Trooper. I, we didn't actually do any damage to him. Oh, well. So... I think we're okay... I think we can win on this turn. Assuming that this is the time when we're supposed to blow the tank up, because or the train is on this side right now, I think we need to shoot it. I think Alicia can do it, especially if I'm smart here. Eight turns, I mean, I'm sure we could have done this a lot quicker if I was better. Or, you know, a lot of it, you know, if I knew what was coming, I could have zipped through quicker. Brace up and get ready to defend yourself. All right, Alicia. It's all up to you. Moving out. You got lots of command points. So first off, we sneak up here, capture the base, and then we shoot this shock trooper. Should be close enough, I think. Yep. Good work. 
Now, unless there's quite a few more, should be okay here. Oh, right, turn this one on first. There we go. Now, I, I mean, I don't know what we're trying to shoot. Please keep the enemy's position in mind. Like, I don't know where the bomb actually is. <laughs> At least I gave her the defense up. I'm gonna... I'm assuming the idea is stand here and shoot northward. But I don't really know. Does the objective tell me anything? Bridge is destroyed under the train. Well, assuming this is the right side of the train, train now is okay. the time to do it. Alright, Alicia. Don't get killed by a train. Apparently, she might be close enough that she's actually safe. Focus on making smart choices so what do we this. shoot? Don't give them a chance to attack. Am I shooting... That. Okay, there's the bomb. Okay, well this should be almost pretty easy to hit. Yeah. Yeah, maybe could have even shot that from further away, but still, that was good. Okay! We got it. Um... Yeah. Yeah. What? What? Status report. What's happening out there? Your bridge is about to fall, Gregor. Unknown vibrations detected. It's the bridge. It's collapsing. This is the second time we've used a bridge against the Imperials. They should be scared of bridges now. Cowards. Too afraid to face me directly. This tank is the bedrock of the Empire itself. Unshakable. Better hope it floats. Invincible! Is he actually in the tank? It's not good for him. Yeah. I think he's dead. Yeah, I don't think you can survive that. <laughs> Alright, good work, team. So long, Gregor. Yes, we dropped the armored train. Lieutenant! There's an emergency. Don't tell me about emergencies. Imperial soldiers are fleeing the city. They've set fire to the Darkson concentration camp. Of course they have. The barracks are in flames. Get over there, now! What? No! Those jerks. Okay, well, I still managed to get a B rank. I mean, I know I died a couple times, but, uh... I mean, we still did pretty well. It could have gone a lot slower. I guess... You know, maybe I'm uh, I'm chasing the ranks a little bit too hard, and I should just take. Maybe I should just go slower. But uh, seeing as the game gives you ranks based on how many turns it takes, it definitely pushes you to rush, and rushing gets you into trouble. Um, still, I mean, uh, B is a B. I did kill the enemy ace, and we get a new medal. I, all is well, right? All right. Um. Let's head to headquarters first. I just want to double check if we can get any orders from the, uh, the creepy old man. But we will finish this chapter today. Um, no, I mean, I won't. We're in the middle of saving the Darksons from the fire. We can't, we can't ignore them. Maybe we were late after all. Why? Why murder everyone? Because they're jerks. They forced everyone to go into this building, then set it on fire. For what? Finally, Rosie. Finally, Rosie gives in, I betcha. Well, evil's evil. She was just a kid. Somebody tell me who did this. I'll tear their stinking heads off. And what would that accomplish? Revenge. That's what? Fight fire with fire. An eye for an eye. Didn't enough people die today? Even if our traditions lead us to death at the hands of others, we don't respond with violence. When we die, we die for peace. That is how the Darkson live. Hey, he opened his right eye finally. Now those lives are gone forever. I was half expecting like a Sharingan or something. 
but why? I could hate them, maybe even kill them, but that wouldn't bring those people back. All I can really do is try to survive and help the ones who are still here. It's pretty tough. Could be other survivors. Everybody, help us look. Good point. Quit jibber jabbering and actually go look for survivors. <laughs> A new comrade. Well, I do like Zaka, so if he joins up, that's cool with me. Thanks in part to Squad 7's efforts, militia forces reclaimed the city of Fausen. Returning from battle, the squad's members enjoyed a brief and well-deserved respite. Yeah, that was a bit of a depressing mission for the squad. A lot of people died. I was walking across base just now, and the guys from Squad 2 stopped me. They said everybody felt like we got Thousand back because of us Sevens. Pretty much us. <laughs> Nobody else helped. Well, yeah. We took down that train, after all. I want a medal. We got lots of medals, Rosie. We're doing awesome. I wonder how Zaka and everyone are doing. I hear most of the detainees have either stayed on in Fausen or evacuated to Randbreeze. Oh. Well, I hope they're all doing well now. Surprise! Yo. M Mr. Zaka? Huh? Wait, that uniform. Oh, this? As of today, I'm a Gallian militia man, same as you. They put me in your squad, so we'll be seeing a lot of each other. Right on. Wait, just a can you even fight? What was all that about living the Darkson way? Eh, don't sweat the details, right? And I've got experience as a tank commander. Does that mean we get another tank? My ride's on the smallish side, but you can leave the ground unit support to me. Hey, I'll take it. And I thought your boss was pretty righteous. I figured I'd tag along and see for myself. What? Me? Well, we didn't get to talk much, but you've got a fresh perspective, you know? Hmm. I guess so. I don't think I'm much different than other folks, though. Cat thinks so. Welkin, you're so clueless. Anyhow, I'm excited to join the team. <laughs> huh. All right, good to know. Well, that will wrap up chapter ten. Chapter eleven, the Marbury Shore. I feel like doing our headquarter business right now, rather than waiting till uh, next episode. We got another skirmish. I'll probably do that next episode then. First off, we'll put our save down just in case something weird happens, and then we'll uh, we'll see what we can see. I'm really, I'm really hoping we can buy a new order today. Come on, old creepy man in the cemetery. Teach me. I want to learn from you. Hello again. I'll there we go. I don't know what it does, but I'll take bay. it. Use it to call forth the natural potential lying dormant inside an allied unit. Well. It still doesn't really tell me what it does. 10,000 XP, sure. Very good. I hope my orders can assist you in saving the nation. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. So, how many chapters did we have to wait before we could get another one? I think we had at least... At least one chapter in between where we couldn't learn any orders. It might have been two chapters before we could learn a second order. Kind of takes a long time to get these things. But maybe, maybe Awakened Potential is the best one ever. In honor of yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the medals. So this is just the Thousand Award. Thousand Service. They made that medal up. For your Thank you, your... More guns? 
Seems like we get guns every now and then. So I have to give her some credit. Remember when I said, uh, give us money or something because medals are, they don't do a whole lot? Well, she is arming us. This is our second to, well, I don't know if those are new weapons. I assume those are the same as the ones she gave us, she gave us last time. Quick look at the, uh, newspaper. Hey! Captain Abuzz with North Winds, so... Yeah, that was us, right? Operation White Steed, hunting down stragglers. Okay. I guess when we took that city, uh, that uh, started the, the push. Good work. Valkyria craze. Oh, no. Books. Okay. Well, apparently our princess or whatever is uh, a descendant of the Valkyrias, right? So, seems fair that this uh, city might... This country might be interested. Yeah, the, the Valkyria working for the Imperial Army is uh, is bad. That much I'm sure of. So. No more money for you. Sorry, Elit. Come back and see the. All right, let's get some new guns. That's what we want to see, right? Well. Or we have a second tank now. Yes. So now we have the Shamrock. Sweet. So it's got a turret that can have one of three weapons. Anti-armor, mortar, and a Gatling gun. Or a flamethrower. Okay. I like it. So it's not... I guess it's not as powerful as the idle vice. Okay, so you can only equip one of three, yeah. Do we want a flamethrower? Do we want a Gatling gun? Do we want an anti-armor? I don't know. I'm assuming this guy takes two command points to activate just like the Idlevice, which probably means... Uh, well, at least he has the mortar no matter what. It's probably not as big as the Idlevice, right? Well, I'll give it the flamethrower for now. It sounds like a Oh, the flamethrower, okay. You only get the mortar if you're on anti-armor. Okay, okay. And you get like a little machine gun at least. Alright, well, you know. And he's got a 3x4 grid. But we can't equip anything right off. Okay, that's, that's fine. Yeah, good, good. Uh, no, we don't want to leave yet. Give me more guns. That's what I want to see. Even better. I will probably upgrade all the uh, the weapons. I'm, like I'll probably get the the A threes and fours at some point. The A twos and threes and fours. But for now, I like these S threes. And uh, you know, a defense down is still really good. Even though I haven't had to use them very often, I think it's still good. No new machine guns. All right, we do have our second. Uh, our second Lancer style. So, the main one, the Thymer, seems to be anti tank, whereas the Mortar would be anti infantry in a group. I don't know about that. I think I'm likely to just stick with the standard layout, the Thymers, which are like the original, basically. Um. But I don't know. I mean, the lane car is kind of cool. It's like a super grenade kind of thing. Well, it's, you know, it's the mortar like the uh, the tanks have. Interesting. Snipers, I think we're just going to stick with aim for now. I haven't been using my snipers a whole lot. Maybe once we get elite snipers, that will help. I'll stick with that flamethrower for now. Another armor upgrade is always appreciated. Maybe, actually, I think there's probably 10, so we're 6 out of 10 armor upgrades or something like that. Yeah, looks like... We're making good progress anyway, right? And then, Idlevice, anything special? Oh yeah. Get a better body armor, I guess. 
or just body HP. Actually, that's that's a solid upgrade. <laughs> it even gives AP. Does that mean I can move farther? That sounds really good. That's like one of the best upgrades yet. Alright. What else can we find? Tread defense for 2x2. Two two. I doubt we're ever going to use that. That does not sound that amazing. Oh, wait a second. Did our... I think our tank just got a bigger... Uh, more more room to, to equip stuff. Yeah, it, we, we currently have the Idle Vice 2. I don't know why. Maybe they'll explain that in the next chapter, but uh, that's cool. Okay, let's um, unequip stuff. And then sort of decide how we want to equip it now. Because now we've got more space. I do think I'm going to want the extra magazine, though. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to care about the spare belt that badly. Alright, so first off... A tube slot extra magazine sounds good. I think the accuracy, if it works, is the best. <laughs> and uh, so I'm going to stack on the accuracy. And then, um, I mean, the crit defense might be worth it. We have been killed by crits recently. What else? Tread, tread HP, Tread Defense. There's a lot of Tread Defense. I don't care. You know what? Um, oops. That's not what I meant to do. I did buy everything, right? Yeah. Nothing else to buy. Alright. So I'll go back to Outfit. All the way back to Outfit properly. And... Let's move... The visor over to here. And then we'll equip... I could probably squeak in another am another uh, magazine if I wanted, but... I will put the big crit defense in. And that will do... Sure. We'll go aim and crit defense. I have no idea if that's the best way to lay out, but... Um, I mean, that's what I'm doing. Can we equip parts on this guy, too? Alright, yeah, right. So, we just don't have any. I wonder if he uses, like, custom parts or something that we just don't have yet. Hmm. They actually look quite similar for HP. But... The, the Shamrock has more AP. Probably a little bit faster, then. Alright, that's cool. Cool, cool. We'll test it out, see how it does. Maybe that crit defense will save me uh, a reload one of these days. <laughs> Seeing as it seems like if they hit you on the, the radiator, it's just Welcome a one shot, you're dead. Train on. I doubt we're going to have enough experience to level up the snipers to elite. But we'll give it a shot. It's, it's, um, it's basically impossible. Because the uh, cost goes up every time, so... And then after everyone's elite, I don't even know what I'll do. Good. Okay. Good. New order. All units aim. That might be handy, actually. I could see that being very useful if you have to take a lot of long shots with snipers and scouts and stuff. That could be good. Cool. Even actually, assuming that applies to the lancers, that could be really good. I, I should I should definitely try that later on. Just check our new recruits, quick! I don't think we have any new recruits today. Hmm. I wanted to see where uh, Zack goes. I assume he's just an automatic... Kind of like uh, Welkin, he's just sort of automatically in or something. He's not even a scout when he's not doing a tank, so... He is what he is. Pretty good uh, perks. Likes having allies around, likes having tanks around, likes having friends, likes having darks in around. That's all pretty good. 
Attack, 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 and defense. Those are pretty good perks. So I like it. I like him. Hopefully he turns out to be useful. I think that's it for today. I did get a, a decoration. No. Oh, sorry. I forgot one thing. We got weapons. Nope. Oh, dang it. Skip, skip, skip. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to. I'll, I'll show you guys that next next time. Um, sorry. I just want to double check the weapons that we got from uh, the princess. <laughs> before we end up. Before we wrap up. Okay, so she gave us two of the fancy weapon that she gave us one of before. Is it better than the S3s? By a small amount. Not significantly, though. And then all the other skills... Yeah, this happens every time I upgrade. If I want to stick with the S3s, I have to redo this every time. And then... Um, I can click equip the 1R for Alicia. I feel like giving the special weapons to the officers is fair, right? We didn't upgrade the machine guns this time around. What was the other one we got? Alright, he got the AoE. Yeah, we want to keep... We want to keep Lancers on the Thimers. And Engineers on the X3. That is correct. And then snipers on, yeah, the GSR-11. So they've got a slightly better sniper rifle, too. I still think, even though the GSR-1R, even though it does better damage, I think the 11 is better. The aim, the aim, it's just about the aim. Alright, with that, we are done for real. Alright, so that last battle was tough. We're going to take a break next episode and do uh, a skirmish, and hopefully that's easier. And uh, and then we'll finally actually see what this, this event was all about. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day. See you next time.